And how did you feel about all this happening? I was confused about what was uh, happening, Michael, because uh, I hadn't any experience with this before, and I suppose I didn't, with hindsight, react like I would like to feel I should have done. Uh, I was very impatient with things. I didn't understand what was happening, and I don't think I was always as responsive to Pat's needs as I should have been. And I think that was in part not because I'm not a caring person, but because I didn't understand it, and I, I suppose I didn't realise the seriousness of it, and so didn't always respond as I might have done. So I suppose my uh, looking looking back on it, it would be to really uh, try and put myself more into the shoes of somebody who's, for whom this is a really scary set of events and uh, perhaps uh, to make sure that uh, I were to uh, be appreciative of all the things that she was going through. I think in many ways I did. I mean, I think I was very supportive. Uh, I came along to all the doctor's appointments and uh, indeed learning how to cope with the NHS and how to respond and how to get the best out of people. If I, that's maybe not really very fair. They were, they were magnificent. Nonetheless, we got to know the secretaries of the surgeons, the secretaries of the neurologists. We would phone. Uh, we really f felt we were having to fight to get all the appointments and so on we needed to get all the information we needed and of course what was uh, actually was fantastic was um, uh, getting to know Cavanoma Alliance because it was through them that we were able to find out a lot of information uh, the neurologist was very interested in epilepsy but not so interested in cavernomas uh, he was very good at prescribing anti-epileptic drugs but not knowing what to do about it uh, the neurosurgeons were good. We saw two neurosurgeons, both outstanding, and I suppose my role was to support and to make sure that when I went along, I, well, we discussed what questions to ask, what we needed to know, and I would keep a checklist and we would do that together. Even though Pat led, I would be there to support. And I suppose the important thing was always to be alongside and to ensure that uh, one uh, did things as a couple and was able to do that. But my impatience with myself is what perhaps uh, would be something that I would like to think I didn't show uh, if I were going through it a second time.